Okay, so I'm gonna do this super fast because I'm building the corridor of horror, and I need to finish that ASAP for an even worse viewing experience. Therefore, to the changes. In GNOME 42 the morning day and night wallpapers have been dropped, and they are replaced with dark and light variants. Hence, each wallpaper can have two modes. That's the dark variant, and this is the light preview. So now we are in dark mode and we have this background, and when we're selecting the light theme we're getting the light wallpaper. The same will happen if we pick that, and needless to say how good work GNOME has done again on the graphics. Oh, another thing is that on next versions of GNOME you may also get a time scheduler for automatically switching between the dark and the light modes. But perhaps that's a bit overdoing, because the upcoming shell menu also comes with a quick toggle to switch between the two modes, and sometimes when it automatically changes it can get annoying, even if it is us we have set it that way. So, what are gonna do here is to create an animated wallpaper with Miku and Rika. And by the way, it is very unfortunate design that doesn't allow us to create an animate variant from within the UI, possibly by dragging a wallpaper over another. Anywho, till then, let's do it manually. And I'm closing this, we don't need it for now. I already have the two backgrounds here to save time, and the first thing we need to do is to go to the code to find the description file. It's inside backgrounds directory, and add way to XML will do fine. That creates only a single variant, but we can make a list with as many as we want. But let's copy it for now, and open it to our text editor. Ok all done! And the next step is to replace the file names. So we want this path. And we want to put it here. Obviously we're gonna get those applications that they will create background combos for us, so you will not need to do anything of those. So that's basically like a walkthrough movie, just because GNOME 42 is so pretty. And Rika Dark, dot jpg. So we can use both PNG and JPG. Now, the final step is to save our file, but we need to save it to a special place. System wide is under USR and share, and GNOME background properties. But instead we will use our home location. So we're gonna create a GNOME background properties folder inside our local share. And back to our text editor to save it. Of course I could create the folder directly from the file picker, but files 42 is an addiction. Anyway. The name doesn't really matter, we'll just call it my bg.xml. And save. And actually, that was everything, because now if we open our settings, we'll see our insanely sweet Miku Rika combination. Rika for dark, Miku for light. This movie isn't designated for Ubuntu users, because you won't get any of those anytime soon. Bye bye suckers!